guys. Oh Welcome hey guys. to day two. In the bottom, got everybody honestly, getting ready right now. We got the Cali boys back there. We're dispersing out in this area. We should be finding deer and elk sheds. Probably a lot more brown deer sheds today, I imagine. We will see. We're just gonna give her hell, get up in here and see what happens. But I think today is gonna be another stellar day. We found 102 sheds as a group yesterday. So that's pretty unreal. Pretty good opener. <laughs> but we're gonna get back in this country, heading south and see what we can turn up. All right, ladies and gents, first antler of the day, just walking out five, mi five minutes into it. Little two point, walking in all this country, glassable country, a lot of sage. Was questioning what this was. Sure enough, it's been worked on. That's sweet. Well, I was up there glassing and saw this, so came down to get it, and just barely got here, and looked over, and there's its match, right there. Very nice, looked like brownies too. In some new country, decided to go north of the truck, started out south of the truck, but we're gonna glass all this, see if we can uh, pull out some more antlers. Grab that guy, brownie. Very nice. There's that one. And that one. Nice little set. Little brown two point set. Burrs. Very nice. Let's go find some more up in here. Just walked up on this guy. Uh, another chalky two. Keep on going in this country, keep glassing. But I keep on walking up on them and can't glass anything up. But we'll take it. Just decided to cut across. And that was sitting there, waiting for me. We'll take it. Just a small two point kind of day. Another brownie. Just a little two point. Put them on the Scout to Hunt app. Find some more. Hello ladies and gents, welcome to day three. Yesterday was a little bit slower of a day. Only picked up like six deer sheds and everybody else had a slower day except for Kyle. Kyle hit double digits still. I think he picked up 15 deer sheds. So good for Kyle. Just getting our hike started. And I came up and over and I've got my first shed of the day. I know Kyle has one and I know Colton glass one up from the truck. So, ooh, starting the day off with a little brownie. I'll flip this around and show you guys. There we go. A little brown three point. We will take that to start the day off. Gonna be in all this country. Just gonna be glassing and taking our time. Hopefully we can find some more. Let's go. All right guys, just walking this flat and I can just see tines poking up. Might be a good elk shed, but I know it is an elk shed. Walking over to it, but they can hide so well in all this stuff, all this sage. And I have a whole bunch of different drainages with a little bit of pinions and cedars up on top, sagebrush bottoms. Could get dangerous in here. We'll see what happens, but walking up on this elk shed. All right, guys, there we go. Decent bull, decent brown. That's what we like to see right there. Love it. Where's his other side? Somewhere back in here where he went across and he's up in here. Something. We got to find it though. Got to find his other side. <sighs> Heck yeah. Not a bad six. Good fronts on him. Good fronts. Decent mass. Not a bad bull at all. We'll take that. Try to match him up. Put him on the Scout to Hunt app. 
do some zigzags. It's still early. It's very early. It could be a dangerous day, but let's just see how today goes. And I'm excited to get in this country and just glass and just uh, kind of tear it apart. Just see what happens. Let's go though. Well, hello peeps. I believe this is day three. I'm right above our camp. I have an interview on the phone today, so I can't go far, but I uh, did a little gridding and uh, I just found the other side of this buck. I'm in a pocket that nobody's hit and literally right above our camp, so um, stay tuned. I'll get a video of the match set. Well, it's probably a little windy, but I got an interview today, so it's kind of kind of interesting I just went above camp and I've been slaying it I think I got uh one two three four five brown deer old chalk I got one glassed up way ahead but just match this bad boy up <laughs> check him out big old three brown set found a pocket nobody's been in so pretty dang exciting anyways here we go <laughs> just started too all right stay tuned we'll see what's going on well the glass is up down on the bottom after i picked that set up i think it's a year before of the same buck i have i'll have to get him out and check but sure looks like him heck yeah on a roll Well, I just made my way up the steepest part of this, and this was sitting up here waiting for me. Little guy. But we will take it. I think we're finally in an area where it could get real interesting real quick. So, hopefully that happens. But not a bad little buck. Heck yeah. We'll take it. Gonna come up and over this glass and have ourselves a day. Walked like 30 more yards and we have this guy right there. Told you guys it could start to get interesting right in here. He's chalky, he's old. I have one glassed up right over there on my way over. Just walked up on this brown deer shed. That's three right here on top. Look at the coloration on that. That is cool. I like that a lot. But, I'm gonna just stick right here at this elevation. And I know where I need to be with the shed over here. That glass, so. This is good. Found that two point right there. Came up the hill, another deer shed. <laughs> another little four, last year's. Heck yeah, we'll take it. I'm gonna come right up here, glass a little bit, and find some more of these. They're definitely on this hill. This is the one I glassed up from a ways away. He is very old and broken, but actually decently, uh, Good main beam on him. That's wild. Well, we put him on the pack. Pack is starting to look good. We like it. Well, got the interview out of the way. Kind of stalled on this hill. Walking out, going to some different country. Found another brown giant three. So his side's got to be in here somewhere. Sorry it's big. Man, oh man, unbelievable, so giant threes here. There's another giant three, brownie. I've been gridding this hillside, killing a little time, and now I gotta match this bad boy up. Woo yeah, what a day. <laughs> so I've been taking my time picking apart all this stuff, but I do have one glassed up right over there and then it looks like almost like a chalk base just right down over here 
but glassing is crucial out here and I have found quite a few sheds the last three days while glassing but I will seriously pick apart this sage this whole little strip right here I would just go back and forth just like this picking it apart and that's exactly what happened with that shed right there all right this is what I glassed up from a ways away chalky three right there gonna keep heading back into this keep glassing all this stuff see what else we can find got lucky and looked up and have times right there let's go see what it is right there got lucky and glass I mean saw it with the naked eye not a bad three Not a bad three at all. We'll take that. Heck yeah. Keep heading this way. Keep glassing across and keep walking up on these things. That's awesome. Been grinding today and I found found a giant three. So so that's that's that guy right there. I already showed but what's better than one giant three set two giant three sets whoop, whoop. I've been gridding all over look at that guy what a buck this one's been out in the sun that is awesome yeah check that out not one but two Two giant threes. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Well, this is another brown set. Not as big as the others, but still a dandy. These guys been sitting out for a minute. On a roll, four sets of deer so far. And my day isn't done. Woo! Son! Look at that. I don't know what it is about being out in nature and just enjoying the day. Create your day. Good energy. Good vibes. Look what happens. <laughs> I am blessed. Awesome. Woo! Stay tuned. Glass that up from a ways away. Chalky. Hold two. Heading that way. Glass my way up. You know the huge. Just keep on glass and get different angles. Keep stumbling upon them. Well, <laughs> all I can tell you is I, I've been blessed today. I, my day ain't even over yet. I've done a lot of shed hunting over the years, but I, it's not big. This is my fifth brown set today of deer sheds. Second side-by-side -side set. And I just found another brown right below. Unbelievable day. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to look for that other side. Maybe it'll be a six that set. That's 16 deer sheds today. Unreal. And I'm not even done. All right. Woo! We got another one. Uh, uh. Chalky would have been a little four, I guess. Cool, cool. Get him on the Scout to Hunt app. Keep heading that way and try to glass up some more. I actually have another one glassed up right over here. It looks like it anyway. It looks like it's times down. But heck yeah, let's keep going through this. Just walked up on that. Still have this in my hand. Another cute little four. We'll take it. We're just side hilling this. And I still have one glassed up right by that tree over there. I'm gonna side hill this and glass all that. See what else we can find. Okay, still grinding. Had like four hours left. So who knows? So far total, I got into a deer zone. 16 16 sheds uh that set right there 
one. This set, <laughs> two, all brown too. This set, three. Let's see, this dandy, hang on, see if I got the right, right ones. This dandy, that's four, four, that's a good buck. Four, number four, brown set, and big mo, another giant three point. Five. Five sets, then I had a single I couldn't match up. I've been gridding to match these. So 16, five brown deer sets, unbelievable. That don't happen nowadays. Anyways, uh, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Got another old guy right there. Old chalker. Still in that same little bowl, just heading up right now. And these guys will just keep on popping up as I keep hiking up, so let's go. Good morning, ladies and gents. It rained on us a little bit last night, and the Cali boys headed out, and so got to thank those guys for everything that they did and for the good times, and I hope that they get home safe. But I was going to show you around and show you camp right now. It's been nutty. Rained a little bit last night, but I'll flip this around and show you. So this is where I've been sleeping. Held up great last night. You can see it's a little wet down there, but I stayed dried in the old Canvy Cuddy. Mike and Colton has his tent over there. Mike's been sleeping in the back right there in his canvas cutter. But check out this pile, some of these. Our Mike's finds and our finds, that's Kyle's big set right there. This is a donation pile. Well, some of them are a donation pile from Jeff. So thank you, Jeff. Here's some of Mike's finds right here. Right here, he got into a pile of browns yesterday. Crazy town. More over here. Colton's finds over here. His sweet brownies they found yesterday. This is my brown pile, this is elk shed pile anyway. Those are my little piles over there. There's three points, two points, and four points. I haven't found anything with size for deer. There's Kyle's deer pile. He's got some nice ones. Some good two points and some freaky ones over here. And nice between Kyle and I right here in our piles, we have over 100 sheds. And then between Colton and Mike, they have like a hundred sheds. So all in all, it's been a stellar trip and we still have three days of hiking. That's crazy. That crazy. My heels hurt. Yeah? A lot. Yeah, well, we still got three more days though, so you better try acting. What's up? Get some try acting in you. <laughs> try acting like a man. <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome to day four. We've traveled to a new spot. Like I said earlier, Kelly boys went home. So it's just Mike, Kyle, Colton, and I just started our hike. Went up one ridge, dropped over the top, looked down, and it looks like a decent shed. And I'm walking over to it right now. But good start to the day. I'll get down to it and we'll see what it is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's what we're looking for right there. That's a decent shed. Where's your other side? That is a hard white. Where's your other side, buddy? Has to be in here somewhere. Look at all this country. You can glass for days out here and that's what we're gonna do. Is glass a lot and hopefully match this guy up right here. Very nice. Let's pick him up. Ooh. Juicy. That's a good way to start the day right there. Hell yeah. Where's your other side? Gotta match him up. That's a good start. That's a good shed. 
We like that. Let's, let's keep going around this little knoll right here and see if there's other sides. Just right over here. A little further up the hill, got another one. Don't think it's his other side. A little bit smaller, three point. Another hard white. They're hanging out in this bowl right here. Interesting. His other side still has to be down in there, but I want to venture up and over here and do some glassing. So, I was up there. And this is what I glassed. He's actually kind of cool. He's broken, but split on that. That is cool. We will take that. Dang it, too bad he broke. But very cool. Maybe we can match him up. He's right up here on this knoll. We can glass all over right here. But maybe turn up his other side, get him put on the Scout to Hunt app. Let's see what we can do. Hello and welcome to, I think it's day five, day five. Yesterday was a little bit of a slower day, but people got into sheds, we had a good day. We are just getting into our location of where we wanted to hike. Been hiking maybe 25 minutes and I walked up on a stud. I actually glassed across the way and he was sitting under a tree and he's actually a good four point. And I'll turn this around and I'll show you guys as soon as Kyle gets up here. All right, Wes, let's see it. All right, this is the one I glassed up. That's actually a, not a bad shed, Kyle. <laughs> That's a sweet shed, dude. That's not a bad one. He wasn't as tall in the G2 as I thought he was. He's only like 14 on the G2, but everything else. Great, great forks. forks. Good genetics. Oh, yeah. Great eye guard. Big old bladed eye He's guard. Maybe on like three. He's got some mass right here, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a stud. Yeah, he's a good one. Hell yeah, dude. Not bad. Good start nice. today. Let's find something else. We match could him up. Yeah, we could easily match him up. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! That's Yee. a keeper shed, though. Yeah. Well, walked up on this one. Our little chalky, chalky little four. Nice little eye guard on him. We're gonna venture that way, keep glassing, and hopefully find some more and hopefully produce an elk shed. We got on top and looked down. Another, eh, it's like two years old. Cool little three though. We'll take her. Once again, we have a whole bunch of sage to glass. So let's go do that. Some thunder. Ah! Gosh dang, dude. Cub picked up a freaking sweet elk shed. <laughs> That's he's a, so heavy. Yeah, he looks dense. Dude, hell he's yeah. Dusty. Yeah, he it's is. It's rain to wash him off. Yeah. Look at all that color coming That's back. That's sweet. In, Look at all that color right I there. I know. All that brown color. He's got a little bit of blood out there. Hell yeah. Dude, I love that color on his tips. He's sweet. Very nice. So heavy. And I have something glassed up down here. Can't tell what it is, but it looked like an elk shed. <laughs> Let's go see. Let's go match yours up too. All right, we sat way up there in the hill. You can barely see right now. Wes picked up this first sticking up we didn't know what it was on our way over I picked up this one side right here and man, this is what I glass dude he is dense yeah you weren't joking yeah he's heavy he is that's dense. the side I, I found no this is the side I found you found the left right here this is the side Kyle found dude Look how big those Holy bases are. Holy cow, dude. That's unreal, Kyle. That stupid. bull's big, bro. That is a stupid bull. Ooh. Woo! 
Hello ladies and gents. Welcome to the last full day of our opener shed hunt trip. And been hiking 15 minutes. Came up and over from behind me and walked up on the first shed. And it was funny, I was like, there's a little bench up there. I just want to go up there and see if anything had crossed through there. Tons of sign. Sure enough, we have what looks to be a hard white, but he's fatty. He's a little massy guy. I'll turn this around and I'll show you guys. Right there. Little fat, chunky guy. We're not going to complain with that whatsoever. Yes, either something broke off or I don't know. Let me get some picks and we'll pick him up. Let's pick him up. Uh, what is going on there? That's cool. He's pretty massy. Very nice. Wonder if I have the other side to him or not, but we're in familiar country. Gonna work my way up this drainage. Haven't really touched this drainage all that much over the years. So gonna hit some spots, take some lines that I haven't hit and hopefully find some more. A lot of country to glass. So this should be a good day. Just walked up. That old chalker. That will probably be left here for a shed sacrifice. There's another point off of him. He's got up to higher elevation and I can see two right now that I've glassed up. One looks like a good three, the other one looks smaller, but for sure is the shed. I'm just taking my time walking over there and just picking apart all the little cedars below me and all the sage and it's paying off so I'm just gonna keep a good eye out head on a swivel and we'll see what happens keep on glassing here's the first one that I glassed up not too shabby not a bad three We'll take that, heading this way, trying to glass up some more. Here's the other one that I glassed from a ways away and that looks like a brown. That might be a brown. Interesting. Maybe not, maybe, maybe hard white. I can't tell, but nonetheless, it's a shed. Put him on the Scout to Hunt app find some more in here. So we decided to make a fire right here and it was raining on us and Kyle found that and that right there <laughs> and we decided to pitch a fire right there and wait out this storm that just hit us and now it's clearing up it looks like so we're gonna get after it when our backs get dry. There's that cute little guy. Nice. Cute little spike shed. We'll take it. Decided to make my way up. Thought I caught some tines and sure enough, buried guy. He's all buried right there. Let's pull him out. What is he? Not a bad four, really. Not bad, sweet eye guard. He is all up in there. Sweet. Put him on the Scott to Hunt app. Keep going. There we go. Right up on top. Big storm coming in. Not looking good. But that is lovely. Brown. Nice. Here's another one I glassed up. Not a bad hard white. A little broken right there. Storm's coming in. This is gonna suck. But, still got a shed. And we'll take it. Nice. Very, very nice. Keep going, but might have to turn around real soon. So I was back up there, glassed up that two point down in the bottom, came over. We have this guy now. Two year old 
little three point. We'll take it heading this way, gonna keep glassing and hopefully run into a few more of these and maybe something big up in here. That'd be nice. I haven't been looking at the ground at all through my shed hunts like this. Touch Guys, the wildest thing just happened. The wildest thing. <laughs> I was looking at these bones right here and then just happened to look up. And can you guys see that right there? Can you see that right there? Oh my goodness. So I freak out and call Kyle over. So he comes over from over here. Like sprinting. Sprinting and just happens to look down at the exact moment and another perfect point. Get out of here. Unreal, brother. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. A uh, little bit of a broken tip, but look at that. Oh, that thing is cool. Get out of here. That thing is so thin. That is wild. It is super thin. Let's see yours. I can't believe you're sprinting. <laughs> you're just perfect. Oh. Perfect. Busted ear. Oh my goodness. Upset the Indians. How pretty is that though? And two of them, just side by side. What? <laughs> That's wild. Okay, back to the truck. Back to the truck. This down. Alright, guys, just walked up on that. I found those arrowheads just right back over here. This sitting there waiting for me. Been here a while and I've walked through here multiple times, so that's always good. <laughs> guys, 15 yards later, stumbled upon this old chalker. I have seriously walked in this sage before a couple times but just up there, up higher, and through the middle. But we got another one. Keep going. Well, just got back to the vehicle. Kyle had a day. I did decent. And we are actually gonna pull all these out and lay them out. And that, Cause I don't think we're gonna be hiking tomorrow. And we gotta do an end of photo. Have a little photo sesh with all those babies. All right, ladies and gents, there's the pile right there. Just This is just mine and Kyle's finds for what, five, six days? Five days, basically. Not bad opener right there. We'll go through some of these right here. Some cool threes, fours. That is a mega deuce. Mega, mega. Massy threes. This guy's cool. He's all skawampus back there. Some big fours, some more big threes. We got some sets up here. Didn't do uh, much for the deer sets. We came out banging with the elk sets though. Check up there. Those beautiful, beautiful sets. And then we have our trash piles on each side. But take a look at that, guys. Just take a look at that. That is money. That is a beautiful thing right there. That's a lot of antlers. That was a lot of fun, dude. That was a lot of fun, dude. High five. <laughs> now we're gonna go grub and... Uh, I think I did like, I don't know, 75 miles. Yeah, I think we're all right around there. Yeah, got a lot of blisters to heal up from. <laughs> Chap lips. I don't have that. But seriously, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I can't do this without you, and it just means the world that you just sit down, take time out of your day, and watch my YouTube channel, go over to the website, and spend your hard-earned money, and you know make some purchases over there. So just thank you for everything, and this is, this is nuts. This is crazy town right here. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. One more last look. Ooh! Hell of a trip, sir. Hell of a trip. Loving it. As always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip and these videos. 
And if you're out there hiking around yourself, I hope you're safe out there. I hope you're getting it done and you're finding a lot of antler. But I love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.